So the question of the day involves a salesman, or sorry, a tradesman sharpening a knife by pushing it against the rim of a grindstone. The 45 centimeter diameter stone is spinning at 200 revolutions per minute and has a mass of 21 kilograms. The coefficient of kinetic friction between the knife and the stone is 0.2. If the stone loses 10% of its speed in 10 seconds of grinding, what is the force with which the man presses the knife against the stone? All right, this question has multiple parts to it. It's a little complicated. So let's try and understand first what's happening visually. So there's a grindstone that's spinning at 200 RPM and a tradesman is pushing his knife up against it to sharpen it. So this is 200 RPM and the coefficient of kinetic friction between the knife and the stone is given to us as 0.2. So first what we can do is calculate our initial angular velocity. Angular velocity is denoted by the lowercase Greek letter omega, so that's initial velocity, is 200 revolutions per minute. So 200 revolutions times 2 pi to convert it into radians. And we know um, 1 minute is 60, is 60 seconds. So what we end up with here is uh, an initial angular velocity of 6.67 pi radians per second. Um, uh, the question also tells us now that if the stone loses 10% of its speed in 10 seconds of grinding. So our final velocity, our final angular velocity is, in, is um, essentially 10% of this value. So we, if we convert this value and we eliminate the pi, we would end up with 20.9 radians per second. We just added that value times 3.14. Uh, so now if we want to find the, the final angular velocity after the uh, tradesman has pushed the knife against the rim of the grinding stone, we can calculate 10%, that means point, point 0.1 of 20.9, that's 209, so we minus 209 from 20.9, and uh, our final angular velocity will be equal to 18.81 radians per second. So we know our final angular velocity, we know our initial angular velocity, we can find out our angular acceleration denoted by this symbol here. So our final minus our initial all over our time. So it took 10 seconds for the speed to become less by 10%. So this is effectively 10% less than this. So we end up with, um, so our final is 18.81 minus 20.9 over 10 seconds. So we end up with an angular acceleration of, essentially it's a deceleration because the, 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 the rim of the grindstone slowed down after you press the knife up against it. So it's a deceleration of negative 0.21 radians per second square. So now we found our, uh, our angular deceleration. Now what we need to do is that we need to find out the force with which the, the tradesman pushes the knife up against the, the rim of, the, of the, the spinning wheel. So in order to find force, we have to imply torque. So there are two equations for torque that are necessary here, denoted by tau is torque. Uh, the first one is that torque is equal to moment of inertia times angular acceleration. That's one 
formula for torque. The second formula for torque is um, torque is essentially the radius times the, um, the force times the coefficient of kinetic friction in this case. So first we'll use our first torque formula um, and our moment of inertia in this case for um, for a grinding wheel that's solid will be half the mass of the wheel times the radius square uh, times angular acceleration that we found out. So let's find this value out here. So we know our mass of the wheel is 21 kilograms given to us in the question and our radius is uh, the, our diameter was given to us as 45 centimeters so our radius would be um, 25 centimeters or point um, uh, our, our radius would be sorry point our radius would be 22.5 centimeters notice that our diameter is 45 centimeters so our radius would be 22.5 centimeters half the diameter and our uh, radius in meters would be 0.225 meters so times the ang angular acceleration that we found out we we don't consider the the negative sign for this for this case so it's 0.21 uh, radians per second square um, and this for this we end up with a value of 0.112 newton meters so we found out what our torque is now we can plug our tau or our torque value into the second torque equation to find our force. This is what we're after, the force. So we can do 0.112, which is our torque, times the radius, which is 0.225, times our force, which we're trying to find out, times the coefficient of static friction, which is 0.2. Now if we just do algebra, we can solve for our force. And that force comes out to be um, 2.48 newtons.